might not know it, but there's actually like hundreds and hundreds of people making comics in Australia. There's not a big comics industry. There's not there's not any like big powerhouse publishers. But um, but but we're here and we're making stuff. And and a lot of people are working on big projects and publishing overseas. But there's actually no no support for people like me who are working on these big ambitious comics. So I'm a um, traditionalist. So I like to make comics. I start with a blank piece of paper and I try and finish with a piece of finished art on that piece piece of paper. Yeah, so this is the, the finished art. So all the all the types done by hand and um, and so the it's like a, a a pencil drawing and then an ink drawing on top of that and then watercolour on top of that. I was working on the music festival graphics for yours and ours festival in twenty seventeen and so this is so I started um, coming up with the idea in this book and this is kind of how my how my process works. I do visual research and I do like iterations or sketches. I use this to sort of sell my idea to them. And um, this, this drawing here was a bit of a breakthrough. There's all these sort of people lying down having a, a moment together. The, my pitch was, um, okay, so the, the, the visual theme for the festival this year is going to be these people and they're all lying on the grass at the festival having a, having a, having a moment. I had this idea that I would use these as the background and that the, that the, the humans lying on the grass would be floating in this watercolour space. So then I, I sat down and I spent three days making this giant drawing. I, I'd done that drawing and then I, 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 I scanned it and I, 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 set up, I set it up as a big digital file and then we constantly returned to that image when we were working on the the festival, and then uh, and and so, but we didn't. I didn't do anything with with it for a couple of years, and then my friend Josh came, you know, buzzing around my ear, saying, "Hey, I want to make a puzzle. Have you got any art lying around that we could use?" And he knew that I had lots of big drawings that were kind of complicated and interesting, the sort of drawings that you could maybe spend hours poring over and that's kind of always been one of the things I'm interested in when I'm making images is this sort of intricacy and like an image that you can really spend some time with so that's that's the sort of image that makes a great puzzle right something that you can like it looks kind of cool when you're looking at it at, at, as a big single image but as you get closer you sort of like start to see little details and one of my, my dreams in life to make a puzzle and um and it and it's really expensive to make a puzzle and so it's, it's it, uh, it really took a collaboration with somebody who had, uh, who had energy and drive and a little bit of money like handy to, to help get it started. The Puzzle Project is a fundraiser for a, a, a little arts organisation that I, that I started. We call it the Comic Art Workshop. So this is the, this is the puzzle art and uh, there's you know, like a couple of hundred people lying on the grass um, all having a moment. Some of the people are real people, by the way. Um, there's some some Austin Mere locals and some uh, some famous people like Kurt Hammett from Metallica. Um, this is the footage of the the big pieces of cardboard being put on the die cutter and stamped, and then sent down a um, conveyor belt to the puzzle breaker upper machine. These bits get uh, get put in a plastic bag and sent down another conveyor belt. A puzzle is possibly the only the only time where the person who's receiving the artwork is going to spend as much time on it as I have spent making it. So there's a, there's a bit of an exchange there which I kind of like. They've got to labour a little bit on the artwork too, and it's very uh, it's very detailed drawing. Josh, who's a producer of this project, spent weeks trying to find the, the, the right place to manufacture this puzzle, and he's found some hobbits. Some uh, so he's calling them the puzzle hobbits, mum and pop shop in uh, in New Zealand. They've just been printed, and they're being sent over from New Zealand now. And I had to make the box as well, so I had to do all the all the, desi the design work. But that's I love that stuff. I love doing I love doing um, prep, like preparing projects for print. That's like one of my great pleasures in life.